the fascias of the neck are divided into a superficial cervical fascia and the deep cervical fascia. Now, superficial cervical fascia is nothing but uh, the fascia which is present uh, deeper to that of uh, the skin is called, is what we see as a superficial cervical fascia. Now, deeper to the superficial cervical fascia, we have the deep cervical fascia. So the deep cervical fascia is again divided into investing layer or the superficial part of the deep cervical fascia and the deep part of the deep cervical fascia because deep cervical fascia is extending uh, in between a lot of complex structures this uh, deep cervical fascia for simplification we have divided into superficial layer that is investing layer and the deep layers of the deep cervical fascia again the deep layers are given different different names now the superficial layer of the deep cervical fascia uh, is also called as investing uh, layer of the deep cervical fascia which is present uh, deeper to the subcutaneous tissue and uh, deeper to skin and subcutaneous tissue and it is present deeper to the platysma muscle so platysma is not covered by uh, the the superficial layer of deep cervical fascia now the deeper to platysma deeper to subcutaneous uh, tissue uh, runs the superficial layer of deep cervical fascia and it is a layer which extends in front of all the infrahyoid muscles and when it comes near the sternocleidomastoid it divides into two layers it divides into two layers and continues uh, posteriorly uh, as one layer again two layers join and continues as one layer and again when it comes and meets the trapezius muscle it again divides into two layer and continues forward now this is how we see uh, the uh, superficial layer of deep cervical fascia uh, covering uh, the sternocleidomaster and trapezius muscle also along with this it will form the roof of the posterior cervical triangle also the anterior triangle of the neck it will form the roof of both posterior cervical triangle and the anterior uh, cervical triangle now this is how uh, the superficial layer of deep cervical fascia covers the neck uh, from anterior to posterior all 360 degrees now, deep to this there are multiple fascia uh, of, of this deep cervical fascia with different names now the mainly uh, we uh, divide them into a visceral part of the deep fascia and then we have the infrahyoid fascia then we have this pre vertebral fascia then there is carotid sheath or the carotid fascia and then uh, there are few that is this is the alar fascia now mainly we need to know uh, about the infrahyoid fascia which covers all the infrahyoid necks the strap muscles are covered by this infrahyoid uh, fascia, uh, fascia now other than this we have the visceral fascia the visceral fascia is again made up of two components one is the pretracheal fascia and the buccopharyngeal fascia so it is made up of the pretracheal fascia and the buccopharyngeal fascia together is called as a visceral fascia it is called as visceral fascia because it is covering the visceral organs like uh, the thyroid gland the trachea and the esophagus so this together is called as a visceral fascia and posterior to the the uh, buccopharyngeal part of the visceral fascia we have the alar fascia uh, which which meets the prevertebral fascia this orange colored uh, fascia is nothing but the prevertebral fascia and it covers all the the muscles which are present around the vertebral bodies so posteriorly if you see only two uh, fascias are extending that is one is the uh, investing layer that is the superficial layer of the deep cervical fascia and from the deep part of the deep cervical fascia we have uh, only the prevertebral fascia which is extending posteriorly now if you see in the middle we have here the visceral fascia here the prevertebral fascia and here is the alar fascia the three fascias are present 
Now, the which part of visceral fascia? We have the buccopharyngeal part of the visceral fascia, which is present here. And in between this vertebral fascia, prevertebral fascia, and the alar fascia, the space is called as the dead space. Uh, and the space between the buccopharyngeal fascia and the alar fascia, it is called as a retropharyngeal space. And the space posterior to the vertebral fascia is called as uh, the prevertebral fascia. Now, if you see that, now both dead space and the prevertebral uh, space are both uh, continuous from right to left. But if you see that the dead, uh, the retropharyngeal space is divided into two by a septum there, and that's why any infection or any tumor in retropharyngeal uh, space uh, is usually presenting as unilateral finding. Whereas if it is prevertebral or if it is ALR, it will be present as diffuse swelling from the prevertebral region. So these are the different fascias, and also we have. The carotid space, which includes the jugular vein, uh, then there is uh, the carotid, uh, the carotid artery, and then we have the the, uh, the vagus nerve, which is going through it. And on the surface of this, there lies the pes anserenus, which is a, a plexus, which is formed by the cervical nerves, which will be lying on the surface of the carotid. Uh, shape. So these are the different fascias that we encounter in the neck.